Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. If you have not yet subscribed to the Quantity Surveying Studio, please do subscribe for more Quantity Surveying related contents. I hope you are finding all my contents, all my videos helpful. Thanks a lot for the support that is being given to this channel. So in this video, we'll be looking into an Excel shortcut that can be actually used by any professional and especially as a quantity surveyor, this can be useful while you're making your measurement sheets or any cost plan or a BOQ. So the main intention here is to save time for filling up some blanks. So I'll explain it with the example so that it will be more clear. So here, this is a simple measurement sheet. You have some columns, drawing reference, floor, description size, unit and quantity. We have included a filter here. If you see in this table or in this sheet, when you do a filter, for example, you need to filter just the firefighting pipes. When you filter here, only the row where firefighting pipe has been mentioned comes up. Only that is being shown. This is because the remaining, see here, the remaining cells are blank. That is why only where this row where the firefighting pipe was mentioned came up. To solve this problem, usually what most of us do is we just fill the blanks like this. Just copy paste and fill the blanks. J duct firefighting pipe. So now when we filter firefighting pipe, see all the rows came up where firefighting pipe has been mentioned. So this is the normal way how we do the filling of the blanks. But this can actually be time consuming. This is just a small measurement sheet, but in a big project, there will be a lot of items. And when you do this process of just copy pasting, this can be time consuming. So now I'll show you a simple shortcut that can be used to fill all these blanks. So this shortcut can be very helpful. So first select the entire table where the blanks need to be filled. Make sure that there are no other blanks where you a description is required. Only that blanks is needed to be filled. So after selecting, click on Control plus G, click on Special, then click on Blanks, click on OK. Then in the first cell, equal to give the reference of the first cell that is filled. Then Control enter. See, all the blanks have been filled. So in a big sheet where there are a lot of items, this shortcut can be very helpful. So hope this small video was informative and hope this can be useful in your professional life. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care. Bye.